Microphones, very, very, very important. What is up YouTube, it's Gordon here from Gordo's Photos. Hope you have a fantastic day today. Today we're gonna to talk about microphones and why they are such important tools as a new YouTuber, and it's definitely the first thing you should spend a little bit of money on but, uh, when, you, when you start take, uh, shooting videos. doesn't matter what camera you're shooting your videos on, audio quality is so, so important. People will watch a video that's got average, uh, average video, but they'll stop watching straight away if the audio is crap. Now, it doesn't matter what type of microphone you get, first thing you should buy as a, as a new YouTuber is a microphone. Highly, highly recommend Rode microphones. They make good quality shoot, uh, uh, plug and play microphones that are, that are, are perfect for what you and I do as YouTubers. Now, before I go, um, before I go into the difference of audio qualities, uh, I'm gonna go through the three mics that I currently have. Uh, I have actually ordered another microphone this week. It hasn't arrived yet, will be arrived by the end of the week. And it's designed specifically for the iPhone. But that's going to be Darren's microphone, not mine, because I shoot on my DSLR more than my phone. Now, first microphone I got, and I definitely recommend getting one of these if you're doing talking head style videos, get yourself a lav mic. Lab mic. Uh, this is the Rode Smart Lab. Uh, it's already got the three little rings on your three and a, on your three and a half mil plug, so you can plug it straight into your phone. These are great little mics if, you, if it's just you talking, nothing else, you're just walking in, or if you're just having camera and yourself and nothing else. Uh, picks up really, really good audio, uh, fantastic audio, and it's all you need. Now, if you're gonna be shooting uh, vlog style video, holding your camera up on a, on a, on a gorilla pod or whatever, uh, I'd highly recommend getting a shotgun mic. This one here is the Rode Video Micro. Uh, it's an entry level, Shotgun mic. Uh, it was about eighty dollars, I think, if I remember correctly. Uh, the Smart Lab was about sixty dollars, if I remember correctly. Uh, I've had this one for quite a while. I got it for a Christmas present a couple of years ago. Uh, the Shotgun mic, the Rode Video Micro, is the microphone I use just about every single day. It lives on top of my camera. Really good little mic. Um, now. If you're going to be doing interview style videos, uh, talking more than one person at a time, I'd probably recommend getting some sort of interview mic. Don't buy this one, it's shit. Um, it really is. We used it, we tried to use it on our, uh, when we did a, um, uh, interviewed people at a convention down in Sydney a couple of weeks ago and it failed on me. So don't buy it, it's shit. Probably just broke it. All right, now I'm gonna run through a few different tests of uh, hooking up different mics to different cameras so you can hear what they sound like. All right, what you're listening to right now is my iPhone X, no microphone, just straight audio from the iPhone X. All right, what you're listening to now is my iPhone X plugged into the Rode Smart Lab. Uh, I have used the iPhone X uh, lightning adapter so I can plug the three and a half mil plug into the bottom of my phone. Uh, but you can hear the audio quality is much clearer, much crisper. Uh, it's picking up uh, my words directly. All right, what you're listening to now is the Rode Video Micro attached directly to my iPhone via a lightning jack and the TRS to TTRS cable. Uh, so the audio from this is nice and crisp. The, video, the microphone is directly in front of me, which is where you need to be when with uh, shotgun mics. Uh, there's no point in the microphones being in either direction because it's designed to pick up voice directly in front of you. So the audio shoot is nice and crisp and clear with this microphone. Alrighty, now we're back on my uh, Nikon D5600 and I'm currently using the Rode Video Micro uh, attached directly to the camera. Uh, this is my general everyday use. I use this setup all the time. If it's uh, outdoor vlogging, holding the, the uh, Gorilla Pod, uh, or if I'm in the studio, this is how I always set up my, my microphone. Alrighty, what we're listening to now is my uh, Nikon D5600 directly with, no, with just using the internal microphone. I'm not using any external microphone for this particular shoot. Uh, it, uh, 
I, I've done this before and I know the audio quality is always a little bit muffled, really not as good as, as crisp, crisp or as clear as it is when using a standard microphone. This is an outdoor test of the Nikon D5600 with the Rode Video Micro on. It is outdoors, so there is a little bit of ambient noise. There's a bit of a waterfall over there somewhere. A few cars driving around. I can hear, hear a highway over there somewhere. This is an audio test of the D Nikon D5600 without the mic. This is just using the onboard mic, not using any external microphone. This is an audio test with the Apple iPhone X with no microphone on. This is an audio test with the Apple iPhone X using the Rode Video Micro attached to a TTRS cable and a lightning jack. Alrighty, this is an audio test of the Apple iPhone X with a Rode Smart Lav hooked to my iPhone X via the uh, lightning adapter. Alrighty, to wrap up, um, I can't speak highly enough of microphones. Um, you, if you're gonna start as a YouTuber, Spend a little bit of money. It doesn't have to be a fortune. You don't have to go right out and buy the Rode Mic Pro for $300. Um, you can get away nicely with the Rode Video Micro for $80. Uh, as I said, I did just recently buy another microphone, which is the Rode Micro L, I think it is. I can't remember the exact uh, uh, what naming on it. Um, it is one that will plug directly into your iPhone. Uh, into the lightning port on your iPhone. Uh, that will arrive sometime later this week. Uh, when it does arrive, I'll do a video and I'll post the link up here somewhere. Um, don't know what it's like yet. From what I understand, it's exactly like the video micro, which is on top of my DSLR right now. Uh, just plugs directly into the phone, which is fantastic uh, for those who shoot on their phone. It was $99, no, $89 Australian uh, just this week. Um, I purchased it about two days ago. It's coming in the next couple of days, so. Um, highly recommend getting yourself a microphone. If you don't want to spend a lot of money, get yourself a smart lab. Uh, there's plenty of uh, cheap smart labs out there on the uh, on eBay and Amazon. Um, I haven't tried them. I've only tried the Rode one. Um, after trying the uh, the cheaper interview mic, I wouldn't personally go ahead and buy another cheap mic. Uh, I'd spend a little bit of money and buy a name brand one. I've only tried out the smart lab and the micro so far. Uh, but definitely recommend them. Fantastic microphones. All right, guys, that's all for today's video. Uh, hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give me some love and hit that big like button below. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do that as well. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell to be notified of the videos. That's all for today, guys. Have an awesome one. Peace out.